Welcome everyone to GamerMeld. Today I've got some really wild stories, starting with a mobile chip at nearly 5.3 GHz, a new AMD GPU, the coronavirus affecting tech conferences, and Intel finally admits the failings of 10 nanometers? Okay, it's news time, and first up for today, Intel's upcoming 10,980HK and 8 core 16 thread mobile chip was spotted on Geekbench by Tom Apisak. And while this isn't the first time, what's notable here is that the CPU was running at up to a whopping 5.27 GHz. Of course, the benchmark can't convey that the notebook in question was on fire, but <laughs> I kid, I kid, that is definitely impressive, and it actually managed to score higher than the leaked Geekbench score for AMD's upcoming 8-core 16-thread 4800H. With that said, keep in mind that every notebook has wildly different thermal capabilities, and to get any kind of clock like that, the power draw and TDP would likely be huge. It's over 9,000! So there's definitely going to be major benefits to AMD's variant as well. With that said, this is certainly a testament to Intel's 14 nanometer process, which brings me to the brand new GamerMeld t-shirt, the 14 nanometer plus 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 lots of pluses squared shirt. You can pick one up right now by following the link in the description below. Next up for today, it looks like I may need to make a Forever Polaris shirt because according to a report by X Preview, it looks like board partners are gearing up to release a new Polaris GPU. But why? This time, they're calling it the RX 590 GME, and it's an odd one. As you can see, X Preview found a number of models that were listed on the Chinese site JD.com, and they're actually available for pre-order. What's really odd here are the specs. While the GPU maintains the same 2304 cores of the original RX 590 as well as 480 and 580, the clocks are closer to the RX 580, which means this may be a 14 nanometer Polaris 20 GPU instead of the 12 nanometer Polaris 30. Of course, only time will tell, but yeah, they're basically relaunching the RX 580. Whether this is a China-only launch is unclear, but I know that Polaris is still fairly popular, and hey, maybe this will help bring the price down even further. According to X Preview, the new GPU is set to launch March 9th. Next up for today, if you haven't heard about the coronavirus, well, Where have you been? it's certainly causing a lot of problems across just about every industry, and that includes the tech world, specifically with a number of events being canceled, so I thought I'd go over the ones that are officially not happening and give you at least a glimmer of hope for the ones that haven't been canceled yet. Starting things off, Facebook's F8 show in May has officially been canceled. Next up, the Game Developers Conference has been canceled or, well, postponed until, quote, later in the summer. Next, we have companies that have moved their show to online only, and that's Microsoft's MVP Global Summit, Google Cloud Next, the Adobe Summit, and very recently, NVIDIA's GTC Conference. A couple other notable shows like Computex in Taipei and the Google I.O. event in California are so far still on. Of course, that is just as of my writing of this video, so it can change. Luckily, Tom's hardware is keeping things updated, and I'll have a link to that in the description. Lastly for today, Intel's CFO seems to have finally admitted what we've all been thinking for a little while now. During the Morgan Stanley TMT conference, George Davis was asked about the state of 10 nanometers, and in his answer, he stated, quote, This just isn't going to be the best node that Intel has ever had. It's going to be less productive than 14 nanometers, less productive than 22 nanometers, but we're excited about the improvements that we're seeing, and we expect to start the 7 nanometer period, and at a, with a much better profile of performance over that starting at the end of 21. Not only that, but he also stated that 10 nanometers plus is in fact coming this year. Basically, it's been a rough one for Intel, and while I do play around with the whole 14 nanometer plus 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 squared shirts, get yours below, I at least appreciate the candidness that Intel's had here. Of course, it is still mostly on them, given they've only cared about upping performance since AMD came out with Ryzen. Then again, any company would do the same, once again proving how important competition remains to the consumer. So while that does it for today, what do you think about AMD's newish GPU? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you liked the video, please subscribe. And as always, have a great day.